Free leads like this hospital that paid us $40,000 to do a cleaning are a dream for any company. However, the leads that come off of Google aren't always the best. So in this video, I'm going to give you guys a couple different strategies to take full advantage of everything that comes in from your Google business profile. And if you hang around until the end, I'm also going to give you a bonus tip to avoid telemarketers and scammers. But we're giving away another pressure washing business starter kit to a Quote IQ premium or platinum subscriber this month. So if you need help sending invoices, collecting payments, or keeping up with customers, check it out. You can do all that for free within the app. I'll leave a link to download it in the comment section in the description. We're also doing WashCon next month. So if you want to meet myself, Cody, Mike, and Aaron, and learn from us in person on how to crush it in your business in 2023, check out the links for tickets. It'll be the first link in the comment section and the description. Now, downside number one to a Google My Business is the fact that it's hard to rank. And it's even harder to rank if you don't know what you're doing or if you have guys in your area that have been crushing it for a long time. But a way to make it absolutely impossible to rank is to not have a listing at all. So step number one is to get a listing. Step two is to learn the ins and outs of Google and their algorithm for ranking. So that way you can shortcut the learning curve and make sure you're doing the right things immediately. Even if you're just starting out, it's still important because you'll be able to build this as you build your business. And the better you do with it, the more money that you can ultimately make. So the first issue is how difficult it is to get in front of people who are actively searching for your service. The next big issue that I've found with Google leads, and I've lost a ton of them like this, so I can tell you from experience, is the leads on Google want a fast quote. On numerous occasions, I've called leads back a few hours after they've called me because I was a little bit busy, and when I call them back, they tell me that they've already found somebody to come out and do the job. And the worst part is, they don't want to even hear the quote. Doesn't matter if I could have gave them a better price, doesn't matter if we could have got the job done sooner, all it took was a few hours for us to ultimately lose the job. So in order for you to land jobs off of Google and take advantage of free leads, you have to be fast. You have to answer the first time that they call and you have to have the ability to quote remotely using a tool like Quote IQ to pull the measurements of the property or to look at the street view so that way you can put together an estimate and send the pricing quickly and at least be considered for the job. Issue number three is the people that just want to get a ton of quotes, essentially price shoppers. So there's two types of marketing. There's intent-based marketing and there's interruption-based marketing. The benefit of intent-based marketing, which is technically what Google is, is the fact that leads that come from it have a high intent to purchase. And we know this because they've actively searched out a service provider. So they're much more intent on purchasing than let's say an interruption based lead. Interruption based marketing is like a Facebook ad that interrupts a person from whatever activity they were doing before and gets your business in front of them that way. Now, the big difference is when I use a Facebook ad to get in front of somebody, the only company that they can see is mine. So they message me for an estimate. And the only way that they can get to see other companies that provide a similar service is by then actively going out and searching for them. However, with Google, somebody is searching for a particular service and they're then prompted with a list of 5, 10, 20, 30 different service providers that all offer the same thing within that area. So unfortunately, some of the leads that you'll get in from Google want to try to get as many quotes as possible and get the best price as possible. So they'll call a bunch of different service providers. However, the way that you combat this is the same way that you combat the speed issue. We need to quote fast, we need to quote remote, using a tool like Quote IQ to get the measurements on the property, to look at the street view, so that way we don't waste our time going in person to a customer who wanted to get 10 quotes anyway, who's just price shopping to try to get the best deal for themselves. The last issue is the scammers and the telemarketers, and the way that you resolve getting unwanted calls is to put a call team in place, or you can use an answering service. This has been tremendously valuable because it screens out all the callers for us, and it allows us to answer every single call that comes in very quickly and very professionally. You tell the call team exactly what you want them to say when they answer the phone, as well as the list of questions uh, that need to get answered. The other thing is we get a ton of information. I get 10 times more information from Google leads that come in than I can Facebook leads because Facebook leads, like I said, there's less intent there. And if you ask too many questions, you're going to lose that person. But when somebody calls in, they're actively speaking with somebody and they're hearing things like, What's your address? What's your name? What's your phone number? How big is the property? How quickly do you want this done? Where did you hear from us? So like the amount of information that's coming in from these calls is incredible. And my favorite part about the call team is the summary they provide after they get a call in. They send me a text, they send me an email of the customer as well as everything that was spoken about on that call. Like I mentioned, all the questions that were answered. So that way I can make a decision on how priority that customer is. And if I need to reach out immediately, or if it's somebody that I can quickly quote remotely and send them a quick estimate, or if it's like, you know, a huge commercial job, I'll give that person a call, see if I can go meet with them that day. It just allows you to really evaluate and screen out all the telemarketers and scammers. So the word of the day on this video is going to be speed. If you made it this far in the video, comment down below speed and I'll hashtag you a real one. Check out WashCon, check out QuoteIQ. My name is Justin, this is Forever Self-Employed. Until next time, hustle hard and get that money, baby. Peace.